Hey, good morning. I'm just chilling in bed. Gray left for work about half an hour ago. It's around eight o'clock right now. Um, and I'm pretty awake because I did not go to sleep super late last night. Probably close to midnight. Usually I don't end up going to sleep until like 2 a.m. or 3, you know how it is. I thought that I would do a little day in the life vlog this today and um, I don't really have much interesting stuff to do, but I do have things to do. I have to go to an appointment with my OB today. We are switching to a new one to see if we like her. Um, Gray's gonna meet me there because he wants to meet her too so we can decide like if she's the one that we want to go with. I am exactly 25 weeks pregnant today, so that's kind of exciting. This is how she likes to be pet, right here. She basically places my hand here. was a fun time. I finally got on to the person that I was supposed to be talking to. Basically, I've been, uh, Grade obviously just started his new job. He started yesterday. Today's his second day. Um, and, you know, we're trying to figure out insurance and which insurance to sign up for, if I should be added onto his insurance or if I should keep my current insurance and, you know, the, the whole thing. And it took me, I guess, three tries to get to the right person that I needed to talk to. But once I got to the right person, the guy was super helpful. Um, yeah, so I have a better idea of what I want to do now. So exciting stuff. Insurance, right? <laughs> it's now 9.30. Oh my gosh, I was on the phone for like 45 minutes. <laughs> that poor guy answering all my questions. I'm late. Because I got on the phone call with my mom because I was talking about the insurance and I forgot what time it was. Well, that's a little bit dramatic. I actually have like eight minutes until I need to leave, so. Well, I did. Now I have three minutes, so. But I'm ready now, so let's go. Hey, I have you on the tripod now. I brought the GoPro with me in the car, but I didn't film because I was just focused on trying to get to the hospital or the place in time. It's right next to the hospital, but anyway. I tried to leave, but there was a spider on the door and it was very scary and it made me even more late. I really wasn't late. I was only, I got there like two minutes after my appointment time. So it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. But anyway, the new OB was really good. We're probably gonna go with her for the rest of the pregnancy. And I put you on this tripod because I'm going to do an unboxing video with this goodie bag, goodie bag that they gave me at the OBGYN. So the first thing we have in here is some instructions on the glucose test. Anyway, you probably don't care that much. I have to do the glucose test next time I go in for an appointment and um, that brings me to the next thing in here, which is the drink. I got the orange flavor. You can choose between fruit punch, orange, or lemon lime. And I've heard that the fruit punch is horrible. So I just went with orange. Don't know if it's a good decision or not, but they told me that it's better if you put it over ice. This is, it's just a test for, to see if you have gestational diabetes. And um, yeah. You usually do it around 28 weeks. And at my next appointment, I'll be 29 weeks, so it'll be almost right on time. 
The next thing in here is, what's this? I don't know what this is. Is this just like, it's a pink box. What is this? Is this lip chapstick? What if it's not? What if it's for something else? Ah, Cube Lip Moisturizer. That's nice. It smells really good. It smells vanilla-y. Okay, that's fun. Ah. How do I close it again? Oh, you twist it. Cool, cool. We got this whole diaper bag, which is like super nice. I mean, obviously it's not like a super fancy diaper bag, but it's like a whole diaper bag. It's like insulated on the inside and it has water bottle holders and stuff. It's got some nice pockets for things. Great. Um, on the inside, there's a feeding guide for the most important person and there's some infant formula which is very nice 0 to 12 months in case we need that and some other formula I don't know what the difference between these is they're both 0 to 12 months also ideal for supplementing, it says. That's what this one also says. Yep. That's cool. That's really nice, actually. <laughs> they give that to you. And then your, your baby's brain doubles in size in the first year. It's basically an ad for more formula. Yeah, and the inside is just very basic just the inside. Exciting stuff. Um, and then the last thing in this pink bag, I think it, oh no, there's more. Okay, this is another thing in the pink bag. It's um, some like stickers that I guess you, you put on or next to your baby and then you can like take pictures with it so like there's one for the first birthday and there's one for like I'm guessing like every month up until the first birthday like it says two months three months so that's fun and then whatever this is this is a gel pad thing I don't want to show you the name of the place that we are going because privacy and yeah it's one of those things that you like put in the microwave to make it hot or put it in the freezer to make it cold and like you can put it on things. It smells like rubber. And I was gonna be really productive today but I think right now though I need to take a nap. <laughs> so I'll probably take like a nap for an hour or so and then I will fold some laundry because I did laundry yesterday but I haven't folded it yet because um we like to take things out, hang them up, and let them dry. So, yeah. I know, it's exciting. So, here I am, doing an amazing voiceover. Just give, to give you some um, information about my appointment that I had, because I didn't really go into much detail about it, and also like to explain what I'm doing. So, right here, I'm unpacking from our trip, and putting the stuff that needs to go other places back on the dresser, and the other things that can be put away upstairs, put away upstairs. Yeah, it's so exciting. We took two suitcases. Okay, so you probably don't really care about what I'm taking out of suitcases. Um, but it's mostly Gray's stuff because my stuff was mostly dirty from the trip and he packed extra. So he had like extra clothes left over that weren't dirty. So for the appointment, um, it went really well, but something that I forgot to mention was the OB was actually called into an emergency c-section right before our appointment or right when our appointment was starting so we sat there for a very long time um and then like 
um, her assistant came in and told us that she got called into the C-section and that if we wanted, we could come back later in the day or we could come back a different day. But it actually worked out best with our schedule to just sit there and wait. So she went pretty quick because it was an emergency C-section and I guess those usually go fast. And the hospital, like I said, is right by um, the OB's office. So she was able to get back and forth pretty quickly. So as you can imagine, that appointment took a lot longer than I expected. And I think we were there about two and a half hours. Um, but everything looked good. Uh, she measured my uterus, which was exactly 25 centimeters, which is good because it's supposed to correspond to the number of weeks you are. And since I'm 25 weeks, 25 centimeters is spot on. The baby's heart rate was 150 beats per minute, which is like almost exactly the same as it was last time, I think. Um, so she's still good, well within the regular range. Since the appointment took a lot longer than we thought, I think we were there about two and a half hours, I was starving by the end of it. So after getting some lunch and running some errands on the way home, I was really tired, and that's why I took that nap that I mentioned. Uh, by the time I woke up from that nap, it was about 5 p.m. Gray had gotten home from work and was starting dinner. That's when I was doing the laundry folding and the unpacking from the trip that you see here. And so yeah, that was basically my whole day. I was making some phone calls to insurance, um, some other phone calls that I needed to make, going, going to the OB appointment, getting lunch, um, taking a nap, unpacking from our trip, doing laundry, then eating dinner and relaxing with Gray for the rest of the night. Basically, that was the entire day. So wasn't super exciting um, for a day in the life, but that is what happened. So, yeah, that's my realistic day in the life, second trimester of pregnancy. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more cancer-related videos and pregnancy-related videos in the future. And, yeah, that's all. Bye. Done with the laundry.